First impressions for the EG4 Bright Mount. Signature Solar sells it. It's a four-panel portrait ground mount. Uh, I think it was like two seventy-nine, two hundred seventy-nine dollars. That's kind of what it's going to look like when it's done. These are the ground brackets. The rails are outside. You can imagine what they look like. It goes together pretty quick. It looks like aluminum. It kind of feels like aluminum. Just feels unusually heavy for aluminum. So, word anything else, I'd just ignore it. But it comes from China, so you always question crap. I believe it comes from China. Hell, everything comes from China. Well, that's the ground part. They go together very quickly because it's just bolts. Uh, the instructions are like Harbor Freight instructions, so you're going to need to draw your own conclusions. It's only two sizes of bolts, and you can figure it out because one of them is a total of eight, one for here and one for at the other end. So you just got to pick out long ones are eight, and then the shorter ones are... Um, there's a bolt load of them because they hold the foot on. The foot gets held on with three per bracket, as you can see. It goes together really quick because there's not too many ways to put it together. Just It's one of those look at the drawing and then figure out to put the bolt. I did a bolt with a washer and then on the other side, lock washer nut. Here's the box it comes in. In addition to the stuff for there, the rails will hook to this. It also comes with uh, this stuff. These are going to be to hold it down at the ends, to hold the panels down at the ends. These will hold the panels in the middle. This is to, I believe it's going to act as a splice to hook two rails together. That's my guess because this whole system sits on two rails total, but four rails came shipped. So I'm guessing you, you hook two rails together to get the length you need uh, for grounding. And this is kind of cool. It sits on four pillars. So they've kind of drawn them. I guess you can get a sono tube. I don't know what size they recommend it. I didn't get to that part yet. But they give you the expansion bolts to run it into concrete, which I thought was kind of nice. The only problem here is I'm impatient and I want to put it in. And it's winter time here, so I don't know how well I'm going to do pouring concrete into a sono tube. There's the dimensions of what they want. I'm thinking of possibly running like a 6x6 six six across these and securing it to a 6x6 six six and then weighing the 6x6 six six down with a boatload of ballast. I don't know if that's going to work out, but that's what I'm going to try. And that's how, this is the extent of the instructions to put them together. It seems like it's fairly well made, fairly sturdy. I really won't know until a good wind blows at it. Anyway, that's first impressions.